Does your Atmos even work? Are you one of those crazy people who set up two speakers on your ceiling, maybe four or even super crazy, you set up six speakers in there. Maybe you have seven ear level speakers. Yeah, you set all those speakers up, but are the sounds going to the right places? When you play a movie, when you play music that's Atmos encoded, are the sounds going where they're supposed to go? And the question is, how do you know? I'm Joe Intel, and I created the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit with my friend Technodad. And we did this because we didn't know what our systems were doing. If you're like us, maybe you're playing the Atmos demo disc, but how many times can you listen to the leaf demo with a leaf going around? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. You can tell where the leaf is kind of going, but where's it supposed to be? Is it supposed to be over there or is it supposed to be slightly over there? You know, it's really hard to tell. And so with this toolkit, you can purchase at spatialcd.com, quick plug, you'll be able to tell exactly where the sound is and if your speakers are playing that sound in the proper location. In this toolkit, we have 13 different sections, ranging from something more basic for most users to more advanced tools at the very end. Today, we're gonna to be talking specifically about the object panning section. Gone are the days where you have to use the Dolby Amaze demo to try to figure out where things are. Now there's actual tools that we provided here and let's get into what they are and how you can use them. So here in the object panning section, you'll see a group that says ear level and they'll have different movements, 50% and 100%. Now what that is is the ear level ones are only playing the sound out of your ear level speakers. Then you'll see the same movements, but with 50% height. So what that is, is it's activating the ear level speakers at 50% and the height speaker at 50%. So what you should essentially hear is a movement of the object right in between your ear level speaker and the corresponding height layer. And finally, we have a section that is 100%, meaning that it's only using your height speakers. So all the movement will happen in your height speakers only. So the first one that you see here is called the ear level square move. And what that is, is exactly what it sounds like. It's the object moving in a square pattern and hitting every one of your corresponding ear level speakers. This is how that looks here. And the other thing to note is on the graph here, you can see the speakers that are activated and how much they're activated. So when it actually gets to a speaker, you'll notice that that one is activated 100%. And if it's in between two speakers, it may activate that about 50%. The next type of movement is the square move with snap. And what that is, is when it gets to an actual speaker, then it'll stop for a second. So you can check to make sure that that speaker is actually playing properly and that the sound is coming from the direct place where the object is. Now, if for some reason, the sound is coming from a different speaker, that means you have it wired in properly. And if the sound is coming from a slightly different location, it may mean that your speaker placement is not optimal. And you may wanna go back to the Dolby specs to see where they recommend placing them. So every room is a little bit different. So you may wanna to experiment to see where the sound sounds perceptually like where it's supposed to be. And it may be slightly off from the exact guidelines, but that's for you to experiment with. Now, again, these same square moves and the square move with snap also applies to the 50% where it'll do the exact same movement, but with either 50%, so halfway between the two speakers and 100% only activating the height speakers. Now, what you should be looking for is a cohesive movement. So at no point should the object sound as if it's skipping or moving too far in one direction. It should really look like what you see on the screen. Now, you shouldn't hear any blank spots when the object is moving. It should sound like it's consistently moving across your room. So you may find areas where it doesn't sound as prominent, and that's usually in an area where there's actually no speaker. So when it's at a speaker, it'll probably sound the most focused. That's kind of normal because there's an actual speaker there. But what you want to look out for is if maybe it doesn't sound very precise between two speakers, it may mean that they are too far apart. Or if it travels a very short distance between two speakers, where on the screen it actually travels more of a distance, that may mean the speakers are too close. This next section is the diamond move. And this is an interesting movement because it's not moving to adjacent speakers. It's actually moving diagonally and kind of skipping the in-between speakers. So what we wanna see is, are you getting good sound moving from the center speaker to the surround to right in the middle behind you 
to the right surround and back to the center. Same thing if you go 50% height or even your height speakers by themselves. So this movement is a little trickier than the square movement because it's not hitting every speaker. As you can tell from the graph here, that when it's in between speakers, it may activate up to four different speakers here in this particular test. So that's how you use the object panning section in the Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you're interested in picking one up for yourself for your own home theater system, I'll leave a link down below. I'll also link down below to a playlist that includes the other videos that we've made, tutorials on how to use this disc. So anyway, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. That's it, take care, bye-bye.